All right, so here we're gonna review uh, how to make something happen every second or every five seconds. Uh, so first, we're gonna create a game object, create empty. I'm gonna call it uh, game timer. And then in assets, you should have a scripts folder. If not, right click, create folder, scripts, and then just go into scripts, right click, Create C sharp script game timer and open this up in mono develop. Okay, so we have two functions already here for us. Start will just happen once, so we're not going to use that. Update happens every frame. So every time your computer makes a new picture to put on your screen, that new picture is called a frame. And this so this happens a lot. This happens 30 or 100 times every second. So we actually need to keep track of how much time has passed. So we're going to start here. Um, float time counter and it'll start at 0. And then over here time counter plus equals time delta time. So what this is is every time updates called we'll add how much time has passed since the last time it was called. So really after a second, time counter will be one. After five seconds, it'll be five. After 10 and a half seconds, it'll be 10.5. So now we need to check if time, because we're trying to do something, let's say every second. So if time counter is greater than a second, then we want to do something. Now everything that happens in here is going to happen every, oh, every second. I'm just going to reset time counter. Otherwise, after one second, this would keep happening every frame. But we want to reset our time counter to zero. So it's every once a second. So everything in here will happen once a second. And what we're going to do is just debug.log every second. Well, and I'm going to save it, go into Unity and we'll click the console just to see what the debug will debug.log will will show on the console press play oh oh yeah so in game timer i didn't actually add the component so right now this is just a text file on our computer it's not attached to our game at all so we want to attach it to the game and game timer. Now it's attached. So if we press play, there you go. Every second you can see our message popping up. So that means that right here, we can type anything we want and it'll happen once a second. 